Okay, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Mr. Dan here. Today we are going to have a short and sweet <laughs> video. <laughs> okay, uh, we're going to do a uh, comparison of the Pink Abu pine berries versus a regular strawberry. The Pink Abu's are in season, so we got some. Penny's been dying to get these, wanting to try them, so. Here we go. We're going to have the regular strawberry and the pinkaboo. So, without further ado, let's get biting. Okay, these, these strawberries are actually grown here in Florida. Uh, it's a DeWitt, Florida. Well, actually, uh, I don't know. But anyway, they come from Florida, and uh, as you can see, and so what we're going to do, you see how these look? And then the regular strawberries, let me bring you a close-up view over here. There you go, look at that. Now, we got, now we're talking, huh? So they're like a whitish color on the outside. They got like a pink blush on the inside, supposedly, I don't know. But Penny's been wanting these, so we got them. We're going to give you guys a taste test. Comparison. Okay, I got a visitor. Camera girl showed up. So anyway, we're going to take a bite of each one and compare what they taste like and let you guys know how they taste. So uh, which one do you want to grab first? We're going to grab a Pinkaboo. See how they, the color is like a... Uh, whitish and then it's got like a blushy color on the other side it's looks like a strawberry to me but it's the, the holes i mean the where the seeds normally are looks like little holes Oop, can you see that yeah there you go see okay let's take a bite hmm i guess that might be the pinkaboo thing pine berries because it looks almost like a pineapple in the middle <laughs> okay so there you see that tastes pretty good it's got a little pucker to it oh well, sweetness and pucker okay so now we're going to do a regular strawberry see the, the the outside isn't as noticeable like with holes or nothing as the ins as the other one so let me take a bite Camera girl's gonna give you a shot. That's her her two berries, and I don't know if she agrees, but they look nice, pretty cool. But I'll say this: the, the regular berry, it's a little sweeter, but it's got a little more pucker. I think I don't know. I'll take another bite. Mmm, mmm. -hmm. Yep, definitely has a nice sweet flavor. So there you have it. They're only there for a limited time, you know, strawberry season don't last that long. But yeah, so uh, I bet these things will be good with a chocolate dip, you know, melt some chocolate in a double boiler so you don't scorch it. And you dip these in like a fondue pot, huh? That'd be pretty cool. Okay, so this is Mr. Dan. <clears throat> Enjoying our sweet... Enjoying our sweet berries that we acquired from, believe it or not, of all places. We couldn't find them nowhere, but we finally found them in our neighborhood Aldi's. So, whew, man, that thing tastes good. Let me have another bite. <laughs> I bet these make a good strawberry shortcake, huh? Mmm. Okay, guys. This is Mr. Dan reminding you. When you're out and about. Cover up, protect yourself as well as others, wash your hands, wash your hands before and after eating your strawberries, and when you go out and get them, make sure you got that hand sanitizer. Don't talk with your mouth phone unless it's another delicious little berry, just like this. Uh, give us a like, share with your friends. Mm. <laughs> uh. Uh. Share with your friends, subscribe if you haven't yet. And I'll put the uh, name of the berry again down in the description box 
also a link to the Mr. Cougar, Mr. Dan Facebook page, and also a link to my daughter's artwork page. So, without further ado, this is Mr. Dan saying, stay hungry, get you some of these here strawberries, and we'll see you next time.